Now, I'd like to draw your attention um, back to doing the YouTube um, masthead or YouTube, um, YouTube artwork at the top of the panel by emphasizing the need, if you're going to add text to your banner, your YouTube banner, channel banner, then you need to keep it centered and in a very small area. Now you can see from the screen I've got up now that all of the profile templates there, the text is more or less centered. The top left hand one with design video creativity on it, this is the YouTube top banner based on the template that's down the bottom right hand side there. You can see it down there. And the one I'm talking about is that one there. Now let's have a look at that. I'll bring that up. We'll open that. And there it is there. And you can see the larger image is the, the full size image that would display on a YouTube channel on a television. Let's have a look at the... There we go. And you can see I've got the text areas there. There's the image. And behind the image, underneath, which is down here, is the template. Now, let's just get that out the way at the moment. And you can see on the template is the text area. Now, if you're going to display on a television screen only, you can quite probably display text in there and in there and, and so on. But in most cases, the text is displayed in that safe area. And you can see I've got it in highlight mode there. Now let's see what size that is. And it's centered. You'll notice from the guidelines it's centered. Let's see what size that text area is. Selected. 1540 by 427. Now you can see in the logo in the template it says 1546 by 423. So there's a little bit of difference there. Now I can fix that up or not, but it's pretty close. So let's just, you can see that's, that's there, 1540. Four twenty-seven, and that didn't come up good we'll pop that out of the way now what I want to show you is the the um, the original image sitting as it sits on the desktop and there it is there that's what it's looking like at the moment now you can see there's a sun up the top there, the planets, Saturn, rings, and obviously this is a, a fantasy landscape, but that's all you see on the desktop of that. Bring that back up, bring that back up, and there's the design video. There's the photo. Let's bring the photo back up you can see it's a different photo because you can put any photo you like really in the background. There's that one there. Now that's obviously sitting above all the text. If I move it down so it's there and that's what it looks like there. Take that one off, put that one on. Take that one off, put that one on. Now that's the one I've got existing on the screen at the moment. And I can put that one up onto YouTube. Now you might be wondering, what's that all going to look like on YouTube? But the point is that on YouTube, you only get that center bit on the desktop. Where's my image? Take the image off there. Yep, 
there's there's the background there I've lost which image I'm dealing with there we go that's the one there now let's have a look and see where it all is so reduce the opacity uh, and I've got the wrong one trust me go back there that's the one there we've got reduce the opacity and you can see there is the design video and creative area photography just fits on there creativity on the left hand side and design and video now obviously you don't want the template in the background there so we bring that up, bring that up, put that there. And that's what will appear um, on your YouTube video. And I can't stress that enough. That's what you need. If you don't have that, if you don't have that in there, it doesn't matter what image you have. Take that one out. There's your We'll leave the text in there, but there's your creative area. You can have your channel branding. You can have whatever you like in there, obviously. Now, if you've got a layer of photo or a couple of layers of photographs there, you can have whatever you like in the background there. And you know your text will be in the right place. Now, I'm going to try and put that one um, onto my YouTube channel in a moment, and I'll come back to this and to let you have a look at what it looks like on the YouTube channel. We'll just go there and just save that there. And that's that. I'll be back in a moment with the YouTube channel. Now let's have a look at these images, will we? And I've got a couple of extra things on here that are that I don't want, so I'll just get rid of those. Delete that video, I don't want that. Now, you can see that the finished um, masthead that I just made, when you upload it to YouTube, this is, this is the image you get. How it looks on the desktop, how it looks on a TV. So you've got a lot more real estate on a television screen. Now I haven't actually been able to get my TV to display that, but that's, I don't use it very often, but I'll get back to it because it's interesting that it shows that. And that's how it looks on the mobile. And you can see while you've got your image in the background, you've got the text on top of it. I've just used that design, creativity and photography as a marker at the moment it, it it probably won't be the finished item now this is how it does look on the screen now if you go to my youtube channel and i do hope you will don't forget to subscribe while you're there that's what the masthead of my youtube channel currently looks like with that design image on it now you can see in the background, it's got the waterfall, a, a bit of the mountain, some of the building. It's not a terribly um, detailed image when you consider that the entire image looks like that. Now you can't move that image. You can't um, slide it down or crop it or shift that design because what YouTube is doing is looking for the full sized image, which as we know is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels. And that's the full image there. If you try and load an image less than that, if you were to move that text up to the right so the building is behind the text, It'll disappear from the desktop screen when you try and load it because YouTube has very minimal cropping ability. You can't move that background image around, well, hardly at all. You can move it a little bit, but not very much. 
You can see there's your your um, safe area, text and logo safe area there, and it really is the safe area. Even if you put design imagery to the left of where I've got design and creativity there, you are you're almost certain not to see it. Have a look at the sea of creativity, and I'll bring the image back up. The C of creativity, D of design, and there's a branch there. Now, if we look at the resulting image, then there's a little bit of a cliff behind the C, R, and the D, E of design and creativity. Let's have a look at the image behind. And you can see there's the tree branch to the left, goes over to the left. So on a desktop, you've got a fair bit of room there and also to the right, there's, there's likely to be a fair bit of room. However, if you look at the mobile phone image, what you get, you barely get the design, creativity and photography on there. Now keep in mind that 78% and probably slightly more, but registered by YouTube themselves, 78% of views are on mobile phones in the vertical position. So that's what most people are going to see. A very small percentage using television. Um, a reasonable percentage using desktop, the leftover from the, the large percentage on mobile. But most people seem to use the mobile um, as their preferred method. So keep that in mind. And if you've got all of your text in that area, bring that up again. Um, we've got that one, three dots. And there it is in there. That's the area. And you can see it fairly clearly delimited there where your text and logo should go. The important point I'm trying to make, make all your YouTube header images 2560 by 1440. Put your, put your text and logo safe area centered in the middle. Let's go back there and we'll highlight that. And there it is there. And put your text and logo safe area in that area there and make the size 1546 by 423. Although mine here is just marginally different. I've got 1540 by 427 but it's just within the boundaries because I haven't taken the actual text itself right up to the edges of that boundary. But that boundary is centered. So there you have it. Good luck with your YouTube creativity and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.